All new at 6 o'clock, BYOC. It's not a drink. <laughs> Bring your own computer. Maybe it will become a drink after this. <laughs> Thousands have done just that. They're packing into a four day gaming convention at the Hilton Anatole. Our Gabriel Rojas is live there now to explain this BYOC phenomenon. You know, some conventions, you try to see if you can even leave your laptop at home and rely on a tablet or your phone. That's not going to cut it here. When QuakeCon says bring your own computer, you go big or you go home. They call it the BYOC, and with 3,500 stations, QuakeCon boasts the largest bring your own computer party in North America. So not one computer is the same here, you know, and you can add your own personality to it. Hunter Krieg is humble about his five-year-old machine, but he says it starts to get intense when gamers install liquid coolant systems and radiators like the one Richard Quintero has. You do enjoy the, the, the view, the graphics, the, all, all the lights effects, and with a laptop you can see that. Gamers will tell you every modification to these high-powered towers is done to give them an edge. Does it help with the gaming? Yes, it, it does. Players inside the BYOC hall aren't going to let a news interview interfere with the QuakeCon whoop tradition. As you can hear, the community's getting a little bit louder and excited. Taylor Miller says the annual event, now in its 21st year, puts to rest the old image of gaming as a solitary pursuit in a lonely room. While multiplayer games are social by design, the BYOC hall takes community to a whole new level. It feels like a, a lot more camaraderie comes out. You know, it's one thing to talk to a person through a microphone, but to sit here with your buddy and sit right next to him and coordinate things. And even though many plan to play around the clock over the next few days, the room is about more than just gaming. I can pretty much go anyone to anyone here and have a good conversation about anything. Um, you know, we're all we're all on the same level. Everybody gets along, and you know, we're all just one big community. And organizers point out you don't have to bring your own computer to check out a lot of what the convention has to offer. Admission is free, and non-gamers are encouraged to come by and check it out. We're live in Dallas. Gabriel Rojas, CBS 11 News.